S- some of you in here this morning, um, you're going through some stuff. As, kind of like Alyssa was alluding to, because in case you don't know, the Holy Spirit doesn't just lead the pastor or the, the holiest holy roller in the room, the one who prayed all week more than anyone else, the one who read extra chapters in their Bible, the one who was raised in church, the one who wasn't raised in church, the one who speaks in tongues, the one who doesn't speak in tongues, the one who has experienced miracles and the one who hasn't. It really doesn't matter. The Holy Spirit speaks. It's it's hard to describe because we can't hear and we can't use our senses. It's like, uh, well, anyway, so that same spirit, you know, many of you here are just struggling (laughs) and how could you have peace and sing about these peace and love songs when you're going through what you're going through today and I don't don't know what it is I know what I only know what I'm going through and like my family and probably those closest to me right everybody's going through something but if you your core Anybody ever do core exercises? You know what I'm talking about? Raise your hand if you've done core exercises. You know what that is, right? I'm probably going to get it wrong, but it's strengthening the core of your body. I think it has to do with here, you know, here. Somewhere there's a core in there. And um, if, if your core is is your your abandonment, your, your trust in God, your... Sure, your belief, but your your trust and submission to his will and his authority at all times, that's really a, a better answer for faith than this wishing faith where we we want more and we build up and we get really emotional because emotions come and go, but your trust in God doesn't have to come and go. You can just put it there. Thank you. So... You could have a core, your core exercise in life, your core center of everything. If it's with Jesus, you can have everything around you falling apart. But that's not going to fall apart. That's your relationship with him, how how much he loves you, um, who he is, everything. It doesn't change. It's kind of like being in the... um, that calm in that tornado situation we experienced it I experienced it a few weeks ago all of a sudden it was all clear and still and then everything all around you and some of you have been living outside of the core you've been living I just picture a circle and then a circle around it you know and um, you have the core you have Jesus you you accepted him as Lord and Savior you rep- you've repented, you- you've changed, you've turned, no, I didn't say you were perfect, but you've changed, you're pursuing him, and somehow you stepped out of the core because maybe it wasn't what you thought it was. It's kind of like exercising. Many people, I've done it, we give up when the results don't happen quick enough, right? I was, I was supposed to lose, lose 10 pounds in a week. What happened? Well, oh, man, you got to work at that, and you're, yeah, it's going to take a while for some of us. So, um, you have that in you. You have the Spirit of God. And you're living on the outside in your, in your circumstances and your, your conditions and what's happening and, and crisis. And it's a choice that you have to make to get back where he wants you, and that's within yourself. And I encourage you to go through the Psalms. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're doing a series on the Psalms after however long I'm in Acts, which could be no Christmas if I... Um,
these psalmists went through a lot. Similar things to what we're going through today. How many of you are in crisis right now? You're, you, you have some kind of crisis in your life. Okay, you have some kind of stress. Raise your hand. Great. Thank you. Awesome. Don't raise your hands, but how many of you, you've just been coming to church a long time, and you're like, is this all there is, really? Because there's, I'm just here. I'm just here. That's all I am is here. It, that's about all it is. It's not really fulfilling me. It's not really doing anything for me. It's kind of like, and you know, Christians, Christians, we don't, this is the last thing we want to talk about out loud, right? But you know the feeling. You've just gotten outside of your core, that's all. You got to start do you got to start going back. And it's not just you, it's the whole it's ev- from the beginning to the end. I mean this is what we do. Stuff gets old and we move on but we're still there. But in this case it's us walking away from our first love. And he's calling us back. And that's not just me, not just Alyssa, that's like all of us. It's all of humanity, it's, it's awesome. Your soul is thirsty. Your soul is dry because nothing else will fulfill you like him. He died for you to experience. Mm. the ability to, no matter what happens, at your core, at your center, you know, you know that you have a Father who loves you. You know that God is real. You know that he sent his only son to die on a cross for you and me and and, and, and all of us. He rose from the grave. He ascended after teaching us a whole bunch of really great stuff. And he left us, his body, to be here and do more than just, man, I, I'm, not getting, I'm not getting what I think I should be out of church. Well, maybe it's not about you getting. Maybe it's not about you today. Maybe it's, I mean, just think about it. The Bible says in the last days, people will be lovers of themselves. Just going to ask you, rhetorical again, is that talking about people who don't go to church? And Is that talking about non-Christians? I'm not going to get into study right now, but I'd say that includes us. Because if, I mean... You're already lovers of yourselves without God, basically. In some way or another, you can prove it out. Maybe we've been coming for the wrong reason. Initially, yeah, you can come. I'm I'm desperate. I'm I'm, I'm lost, and I I need an answer. And, And then you find Jesus. Well, you have that answer, and now what is it about? You know, like, why are Why are you here? And I, I've, I've said it probably a few weeks now, you know, why are we here? That's a question you have to ask yourself. Is it, is it lining up with, with Jesus or is it, is it with you? And what you need today to feel okay, what you need to feel peace and to just walk out with maybe a, a euphoric feeling. Do you know how much he gave for us? And that's, that's what we're recognizing now in a totally unscripted, you know, communion session. If you're not a, a member of 
this address church in Northwest Iowa. Um, the community is still open to you, so. If you come from a place that says you have to have a card to uh, acknowledge your Savior died for you, and uh, if he's your Savior,